Hey guys, welcome to my SimSwap Windows installation tutorial and today we'll be showing you how to run SimSwap locally on your Windows machine. And this will be preferably easier if you have an NVIDIA's graphic card and if you don't have an NVIDIA's graphics card, you can try to run it on Colab instead, which is basically run it online and you can find the Colab here. And let's get started. And first, we need an Anaconda prompt. So if you don't have one, uh, you can go over to this link I'll put under my video description and scroll down to the very bottom and you can see here, you want to download the Windows 64-bit graphical installer. It's really straightforward. You just click everything on default settings and install it. I think it's pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to show you how to do it. And after that is done, you want to go to your search and open up your Anaconda prompt. You have to make sure it's Anaconda Problem, not Anaconda PowerShell or anything else. And after you have opened it, you want to find a file location that you want to install your um, codes in. So it will be my um, tutorial folder and I'll basically create uh, a new folder here. Let's call it SimSwap. And then you want to go into this folder. You want to go into this folder and then come over here and download the code download zip and then after that has finished downloading you click on this zip and you want to drag this file and then drop it here and after that finishes um, extracting you can see that most of the codes are down here already and now you just need to head over to um, preparation here and now you want to click on this link and open it and and if it says run out of limit, you can go to my description and use my um, copy instead. So I'll link it down in the description over on my Google Drive so you can see it here. It would be something like this, antelope.zip. You want to download this and here, and you want to drag and drop. Uh, okay, for that, um, you want to create a folder called model models and then you go into the models inside the inside phase funk and then you unzip uh, the antelope here so it'll be something like um, this here so you want to unzip this to here so let's here extract here and you can delete zip folder after you're done and it'll be these two files these two files so these two files need to be in inside phase funk models and antelope and these two files yeah so i'll link my own copy down in the video description so you can use that easily and now the next thing you want to do is download the pre-trained model so you have to go to google drive here and you just download these two after you download them you have to put them to the according folders so here you will need to create a folder called arc face underscore mar model <laughs> so arc phase underscore model and you just want to drag and drop uh, the checkpoint here okay it will be in dot tar file so you, you don't need to unzip it so you just leave it as it is so you don't unzip this file you don't and um, so the next thing is um, you need to unzip the checkpoint so you want to um, open a folder name it checkpoint checkpoints Checkpoint with an S, yes. And then you basically download this and then you want to unzip the content inside the checkpoints. So the checkpoints inside the checkpoints file, this one, there will be a folder called people and inside there will be these four files. So you have to make sure that these are all here and these are unzipped. Okay, more, more than these four, hasn't finished converting but yeah so make sure checkpoints people and these files are here and then there's a folder called arc face and then this is here you don't need to unzip this and then inside face funk models antelope that's the three things you need to set up and after that is done you can head over to your um, main file root which is where the all the codes are and you want to copy this um, file path and you copy it here you want to type in cd and paste your file directory so basically you want to change directory to that um, file directory 
And if you're on a different disk, you need to switch disk. And since I'm on G disk, not C disk, so the changes aren't shown here. So you just need to change your disk. And now you can start creating the Conda virtual environment. So when you're creating a virtual environment, you just um, you just basically set up an environment just to run this um, specific GitHub repo. So the next time after you finish setup, up, you just need to activate it the next time and you don't have to install anything else. And then you can run the codes when you're in the right file directory. Since I already have an environment, it will tell me to remove it. I'll remove it so I can do the exact same thing for you guys. So it wouldn't be as confusing. And yeah, you, you will see this step. We need to activate the environment. So you can see it turns from base to sim swap. And sim swap is basically what we want. It's this virtual environment, but the environment is not yet set up. So we just need to copy these line by line and then let these all install. And the next time we just need to activate it and get to the right file directory to use these codes here. Okay, so process, yes. And the next thing you wanna copy this part, pip install. I suggest you still do it since it, even though it says it's optional and then you want to install this next thing. Yeah, and after this finish setting up, uh, you can basically get ready to start running the codes. So you can head back to the main page and then you go to the next link, inference for image or video face swapping. Um, there are a lot of choices you can do. So there are simple face swapping for already face aligned images or face swapping for video or face swapping for arbitrary images. Everything is pretty straightforward. If you want a specific function, you just need to change a few parameters. I'll show you guys how to do face swapping with a single video with a single face. So this only swap only one face and these swap all the faces inside of video. So I'll show you guys this one since it's pretty straightforward. So I suggest you open up notepad, which is easier when you want to manage all these uh, comments. So you want to paste, copy and paste these comments here. So if you look closely, each one has um, parameters inside and you want to find the right one. So the video path is basically the, the target video that we want to edit. So it'll be inside the demo file and this multi people underscore 1080. So you want to go to the demo file and for any input you want to do, you can just drag and drop here. And then you just change the video name to never.mp4. In the output path, we don't need to change this one. Oh, I suggest changing the name just so you can like know what results you're generating. So my demo file, which is my source, is going to be Iron Man, which is Robert Downey Jr. So I want Tom instead. So I just drag and drop Tom into this one and I just change this name to tom.jpg. So we have our source image, target video, and our output will be output will be here. Never Tom. And then yeah, that's all three you have to change. Pick underscore A, video path, and output path. And after you finish editing these, you just copy the whole command and head over to your command prompt. And then you right click to paste and press enter. And now you will just have to wait. And after that is done, um, you can see it says done here. It only took about one minute and 43 since this video is pretty short and in low quality. So yeah, it's only a nine seconds clip. Oh, never mind. It's in 1080, 10 seconds around 143. It's not bad. We can look at the results here in the output folder and here. Pretty, pretty, pretty sweet. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what I'm doing, you can try supporting me through Patreon or YouTube. And if you have any problems, you can head over to my Discord channel. You can definitely find help there. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.